thank you so much for inviting us to your showroom to chat yes. with you today about your collection and your work. Anytime. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm sitting here with Christian Siriano, and um, you know, honestly, one of the things I'd love to ask you, I know that you have been designing since you were 13 years old. You started so young, and you've had such an incredible career path so far. You're still so young. Tell me a little bit about all the way back in the day when you were a kid and you started designing fashion and costumes. <laughs> what were your early fashion influences like? I know, it's so funny. Um, I know looking back, I, my mom actually sent me a message the other day and said that she found some of the things that I made, like some of my first pieces, and she's like, oh, they're pretty good, but I don't think they are. I'm sure they're <laughs> like hot glued and safety pin. So your spring collection for 2016 is inspired by Marrakesh, right? It was kind of, it's more about Morocco in general. Okay. So it's kind of like we took this journey through the whole kind of collection. It's like, okay, she kind of starts at JFK and she's going on this journey and she's going to all the different cities, you know, Casablanca, Marrakesh, Fez, and it's like all the experiences from each place. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the collection has a lot of like, um, you know, textures was really an important thing. You know, these were all inspired by Moroccan wedding blankets. Um, and, I'll, and the color palette also, we kind of start with this very sunsetty tone and a lot of it's very cream and ivory and light and fresh and then the whole story kind of ends with a big jolt of color, um, which was nice. And, you know, and you see all these different textures and um, like I love a dress like this because we played with like doing a knit, um, but in a bold stripe, you know, with a knit dress. Um, this was kind of cool because we wanted it to have that kind of stripe feel, but still like wearable and mm -hmm. flattering. Yeah, and that's very body conscious. Yeah, that, one. that one's a little sexy. <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice mix. These are fabulous. You know, um, because I wanted them to still feel luxe, but also feel like light, like feel how light the fabric is. That was really, really important. And then we end in kind of this really citrusy, kind of beautiful colors. I understand you just launched your own namesake fragrance. Yes, um, Christian Serrano Silhouette mm -hmm. is the name. Uh, and you know, Silhouette was kind of like my idea of this, you know, every woman, mm -hmm. that you can be any silhouette and celebrate it. Mm -hmm. So you can be any size and still wear it and feel beautiful. Um, and it's really beautiful. It's a, it's kind of a sweet and spicy smell, mm -hmm. um, but very wearable. I love these bags. Can you tell me a little bit about your handbag collection? These are so gorgeous Pretty, and the right? colors are incredible. I know. Look, so we brought in a lot of the textures from the collection and that was really important. And you know, what's great about these is that, you know, they feel so luxe and these are all vegan non-leather. So they're all synthetic fabrication. So like this, this is actually one of the, this is from an Italian mill um, that we use in the collection. And that was really important. I wanted to bring in all different elements. Um, and that's what keeps like these, I mean, all of these are priced. These are like under $400. So Impressive. you get a really amazing look for like a great price. And so, and you've worked with so many fabulous celebrities as well, from Lady Gaga to Rihanna to Taylor Swift. Tell me about some of your favorite red carpet looks you've ever created. Oh, um, it's such a it's such a mix, and that's I don't know. That's what I love. Like you know, I love dressing different types of women. You know, like a Rihanna and like a Gaga, which are amazing. And then you know, Taylor is a different type of artist. Mm -hmm. We just dressed her for her Wildest Dreams video. We made this really beautiful gown, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, then we can dress women like Oprah and Christina Hendricks and. And then young girls like Sarah Hyland, like I love that we can, you know, dress all these different types of women who I'm fans of. Like I, I think that's important too. Like I have to love, you know, who they are or what they represent because I think that's also pretty important now because I don't know. It's like there's certain actresses and certain musicians that if I don't, I'm maybe not a huge fan of their work. I don't necessarily know if it's the right fit um, or not fan of them personally. You never know. You know, it becomes now like a thing. Um, that I think is super important as well. What would you consider the Christian Siriano muse? Or um, who? Or it doesn't have to be a person, yeah. it could be an idea. Yeah, just an idea. That's what it is. Like I always say that we want to dress so many different types of women because I want to dress every age, any size. Um, I don't think that that should matter. Uh, and I think that as long as the woman, you know, as long as she wants to feel 
you know, great and elegant. And obviously the idea is getting a little dressed up. I mean, our clothes are not casual, you know, we're not jeans and a t-shirt. So no matter what, even if it is just going out, you know, to dinner and you're wearing a great dress, we still want it to feel like elevated. Um, and I think that also it's important that every piece feels a little bit like a piece, some type of piece of art that you kind of live your life in. I think that's an important thing that there's an artistic um, take on each piece in some way, whether it's architectural or whatever it's inspired by.